Hi, it's T. Michelle here, and <clears throat> now we're going to continue on with my vlog on mobile home investing and how to get started, I guess, right? Um, so this is going to basically chronicle my adventures in mobile home investing, <clears throat> and all the while, I will continually bring you tips and advice as I learn tips and advice on investing in mobile homes. So you decided that mobile home investing is going to be your vehicle to financial freedom. Well, that sounds great. And of course, you've done your research, right? And after you've done your research, you've definitely written and gotten together a good game plan, right? Good. So your next step is to actually go out there and find potential buyers. Now, in order to have a product moved, you have to find buyers. That's basic economics, supply and demand, right? So you've gotten your uh, supply as far as you've gone on listings and you've found homes in your market area that are actually um, feasible for your budget and that can actually be done with the repairs and will make you a good return of investment. Now you have to go out and actually find people who want to buy these homes so that way when you do acquire your properties, you can actually, you know, sell them or rent them without having to hold on to them without them making any kind of uh, return. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is you actually want to go to the mobile home parks. Go out there and introduce yourself. Get business cards, flyers. Of course, there's always Vistaprint and many other agencies that will uh, provide you with business cards and advertisement uh, materials, marketing materials at a very low cost. And if you want to be a DIY kind of guy or girl, you can go ahead to Office Depot and, or Staples and purchase the home made uh, card templates and go ahead and make your own business card. But do make sure that customers and clients have a way to reach you in case they happen to come up on a deal that they think you'd be interested in. Or if park managers or park owners happen to know of people who are ready or about to be ready to sell their home, guess who they're going to call that card that's sitting right there in front of their face. Also, make sure you go and make some simple flyers. I've seen people do the most, I mean, like kindergarten level flyers where it's actually just some marker and, a, you know, multicolored markers. Maybe they have like two colors on their sign and it says we buy houses and a phone number. And that's all you need, all you need. And people will begin to call you. You have to place them in the right places, of course. You want to make sure that these flyers are circulated in areas around mobile homes if that's the property you're interested in purchasing. You want to go to local grocery stores, local recreational areas, churches, and even um, schools and see if there are people there are any type of bulletin uh, areas that will allow you to post your marketing materials and don't oversell just be happy to put a one card or one postcard in their window or on their like area where they've allowed you to put their uh, your advertising materials and thank them and then also if you do happen to get some business as a result of their advertisement or them putting your card or a uh, flyer in their store make sure that you patronize their business make sure it is lucrative for them to make sure that you get business you know, refer some of your customers to them and let them know that, hey, this is the greatest supermarket in town. They have the best quality foods and everything. And then you never know. This guy, when he hears about somebody in his market needing to sell their home, guess who he's going to buy? Or, I mean, guess who he's going to um, refer them to or, you know, pass that card or number on to, right? So it's always helpful to make connections and be sociable and be polite and kind because these people are basically helping pad your pockets um <clears throat> you also want to uh, check out manufactured home dealers in your neighborhood they may have um repossessed or uh, foreclosed properties that they are attempting to get rid of also um, you want to pr probably try placing an ad in your local newspaper like uh, the Green Sheet or the Recycler or any one of those other type of um, online or uh, you, you can go online or on a regular paper periodical and place your ad in the mobile homes or homes wanted portion. 
Um, also, try driving around these mobile home parks and look and see if you see any for sale signs that are just actually located out in front of homes. You never know. People tend to sell their homes on a whim when they have um, emergency situations such as a death or something like that in the family and they don't have time to actually advertise through a regular agency or agent. Um, also, try talking to banks and brokers and agents to see if they have any properties that they would like to unload. You can also try talking to other investors. Try joining real estate um, investor <coughs> forums. These are all different ways that you can find potential buyers. So, I hope this has been informative and I hope you get started on your feet.